Oh yes. Global. Okay. So we'll start with a global map update oh. about the hills. Uh, That's probably not a global map. No. Okay. That's a background update. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, I just want to shrink. I want to go from large to to smallest. So we'll start with um, the backgrounds, and then we'll go to the global map. Oh, oh, a keyboard is traveling yep. towards me. Good. There we go. There we go. I have very short arms, now so I can't, <laughs> I can't reach. I can't reach anything. So yeah. So previously on the development stream, we've seen um, the hills. So the hills are finished now. Spoiler alert. But I'm gonna quickly run through the sort of development process. Um, so this is a sketch from back in the day of 2017 and uh, two weeks ago I made this new color concept. Yeah. Let's discuss why. What was the problems of a previous uh, iteration and uh, how they've been fixed? As, as, we, as we probably mentioned last time, um, there were some perspective issues because what is perspective? Sort of, it was sort of falling downwards, and all of our other illustrations are sort of more or less just front has view. more or less front view perspective, yes. Mm -hmm. And in general, we wanted to make the piece more moody, and maybe sort of some darker overtones, not too gloomy. So there you go. It's a new new painting. And when it comes to backgrounds, I do them like the other way around. I start with the painting, and then I add the line art. Everything else, I do the line art first, and then I add the colors. It's just way easier for me this uh, way. And what was your inspiration for this sketch? I, I think you've shared on the Discord uh, some information about the oh, locations yes. that's kind of similar, and that exists in the real world. This is where I should have improved on my Scottish accent, but I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> but oh, <okay. laughs> it is... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, I should have. I should have. Um improved on my Scottish, but it's okay. Um, I'll, I won't embarrass myself okay, so and just show the you the, um, yeah, it's the Isle of Sky. It's a perfect holiday location, maybe next year, Rita, maybe next year. But yes, Isle of Sky, a beautiful place in Scotland. If you want to visit Scotland, go visit this place. It's awesome. And uh, this was a reference uh, at the very beginning when mm -hmm. I was drawing the hills. Okay, let's go to the next iteration. And let's see some improvements. Actually, I made it so that it's just going to be final all, all together, just like that. Kaboom! Kaboom! It has a line art now. And it's final. Yes, and it's final. And um, let's move it like this, away from our faces. Uh, yeah, the line art really adds and changes the picture uh, quite a lot. So, yeah, no, this it's more is in style uh, more with style. other uh, backgrounds. For example, hills. Uh, I mean planes. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're quite hilly as well. Hilly so and hilly. Hills. Oh, yes. And <laughs> I won't be doing goofy. And uh, to just show the context of what hills are, just a reminder for you guys. This is the final hills together with its flora and fauna and yeah. uh, all the creatures we can find on the hills, right? Some stink tails, tusk looks, mm -hmm. adventure, wild adventure. They're, yeah, wild they're adventure. Roaming the hills. <laughs> in their natural habitat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, in the spire. Make um, sure <laughs> to light the candles. Black paws. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, gigglers. Yeah. Yes. For one moment, I thought this tiny creature was a separate creature, and I was trying to sort of he move was. it around, but it wasn't moving. Yeah, yeah, maybe he was. Not today. Okay, yes. good. So that's it for hills. Yes. Uh, we are already added them to the game as a final asset, so Ooh. maybe we'll find them. Maybe. Good. Speaking uh, of hills, yes. on hills we'll, we will find various objects. Okay, first one is monolith. Second mm -hmm. one is uh, a magic node. Like... Uh, and the uh, third one is ruins. ruins. And today Good. we're gonna talk about the monolith. Okay, the day has Zoinks. come to update it from a sketch state yes, to a final state. Yes, it's been a while. Well. It's been a while. So if you remember um, our dear, dear old idol, for example, uh, we sort of added parts of the monolith to the idol. So, for example, the offerings are now belong to the idol. 
So, so we've swapped some uh, yeah. details between them. Okay. So we had to renew the concept. So we talked about it with our game designer. He's like, eh, let's just get rid of all the torches that look like matches, <laughs> especially on the global map, and of the offerings as well. So why it was done? Because not only because it was already used in a, in Idol, but also because it's uh, like forgotten place that's been discovered by you, and it's like so many years ago was yeah. built, and it's not so popular right now, right? It's... Yeah, everyone is into idols now. Yeah. At first, they were just <laughs> making rocks with holes, and then they're like, we can actually make them look more like people. So one day you're super popular monolith, and next day yeah, you're just you're forgotten. So uh, that was the the thing. We had to make a forgotten idol a little bit more interesting. So I talked about backgrounds, how I start with painting and then line art. For objects, I start with um, line art. And then I add the colors. Yes. Yes. My mouse is gone. I can't. <laughs> I can't. So, so yeah, in this so... case, it's opposite. You're starting from line yes. art and you're yes. coloring Same with and you're trying to make it look good. Yes, okay. Yes. So, um, <laughs> so this the is shape the shape has changed and uh, all the bit. details that you discussed before yeah, um, been removed as well. I've added some um, crawling ivies or something. And mm -hmm. sort of, it stands on a hilly, hilly kind of background. Oh, are, people are sending us gifts now. So, yeah. gifts <laughs> or gifs, we can have a debate on that. Okay, I call them gifs. Um, so, yeah, so I start with the line art and then I move to colors. Yeah, you can press that. Bam. Delete. Yeah. <laughs> so I just sort of uh, started coloring it and thinking about how to make it, A, different from the idol, and B, how to sort of make a boring old rock look interesting. So in our old concepts, we also had the idea of adding like magical ruins and stuff like that. For now, it looks like uh, falling Tetris pieces, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there should be some kind yeah. of secret message. Well, I didn't want to like, make... Help me! Yeah, I didn't want to make something Call like... Call 911. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Maybe someone on drugs was like scratching something. Uh, we'll never know. It's like uh, those noodle soup that you have with letters. And somebody spilled their magical rune soup. soup. <laughs> it, so, it's, it's a nice idea for a startup. For so, free. so, yeah. Uh, for first, like, iterations of colors, I don't really get into tiny, beautiful details. I sort of want to get an idea of what the thing should look like. And, of course, after presenting this, I get a lot of feedback. <laughs> Andre is like, you know what? <laughs> Looks good, but. but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then these are all the butts <laughs> that I have to fix now. Too many butts. Too many butts, yeah. But it's okay. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. Drawing these things is kind of it's, it's kind of calming because it's just a rock. You need to just add some letters and stuff. We'll get to problematic pieces which are like fictional plants and a tiny icon kind of thing. That's a challenge, not some kind of rock. Yeah, yeah. Everyone rock... knows how rock looks yeah. like. Here's so... more of your rock on different backgrounds. Rock on planes and rock. <laughs> it's, you know, it's rock. <laughs> oh, yes. And he's showing his, his photos to his family. It's like... a he? Maybe it's a she. It's oh, I'm sorry. It. Okay. Let's it, not give it. It shows. It, yes. It's some travel photos. So yeah. Low. It is alone. No, it, the relatives it, it are dead. It has some friends, because yes. there's this tiny rocks around him. Yeah, and they're destroyed. Oh. Maybe he communicates through letters shining on his yeah. rock body yeah. and all. He's like... not very literate, though. Good, okay. Anyways. So, that's fun, but let's move on. <laughs> yeah, that's fun, but let's see, move on. See you later, rock. Bye, rock. We'll see you on the global map at some point. Next. The global map. So no last way. time we discussed distorted lands, and we'll discuss them again. So this is what we saw uh, uh, on let's our. Let's start from uh, first iterations, right? Discuss them, and then show what we have right now. Yeah, well, is uh, that's that's like the, okay, uh, the let's very zoom in sort of. It's kind of hard to see. Yes. Yeah. Like so this. that was like one of the very first uh, sort of iteration of of the distorted lands we showed last time. Uh, can you show an uh, illustration of uh, how it looks on a quest report? 
Yes. If you'll be able. Yeah, yeah here it is. Okay. So on the illustration, it, it looks more vivid and more bright and uh, yeah, colorful. So... And here it's kind of bland. It is bland. It's going to get blander. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, there's a reason for this, though. So at the very beginning, when you see this colorful illustration, you sort of get like, too excited and you want to add like so many things on the map. You want to add like distorted rocks and plants and whatnot. So you're throwing everything on the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to make it exciting. And then they're like, hey, we need mist and lighting. Okay, guys, here's some <laughs> mist and lighting. Or... And now it's like, yeah, like a whole rock part, metal party in space face or whatever um yeah we have some plan details and and lighting effects it's just a concept you know the lighting yeah. will be so we've an discussed effect. all of this and uh, we decided to calm it down a little bit yeah right? just scrap everything <laughs> and uh scrap everything and start from a from a from fresh yes yeah just just yeah, yeah just a couple of this. notes <laughs> That says this sucks. I scrap everything, yeah. and I have to live with that. So <laughs> I was like, okay, that's okay. Let's just have rocks. So <laughs> uh, this is a concept of um, of the most updated version. Okay. Of... Uh, so what we were trying to achieve, and what we can see here. So What's the main changed? issue is, if we look at the global map as a whole, you will see that it's basically a background for all the items that we're going to have, uh, interactive items like animals and location objects and uh, task quest icons, you name it, all sorts of stuff. So our background needs to be quite subtle, but it also needs to represent the land. So we had to remove a lot of these additional shiny objects so that they don't overthrow sort of the focus on the things that are interactive and important for us. So this is why we got a bit to a blander side, but mm -hmm. a more functional one as okay. well. And what about the second uh, illustration? Second illustration is just an empty one. Oh, okay. So <laughs> it, 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 it's easier to, to see the details. We are trying to make some giant cracks flying uh, islands with uh, lightning, lightning effects, yes, a mist, but much less than the previous iterations. Yeah. And some distorted land, because it's, you know, distorted land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, good. Um, so that's it for for a new biome, distorted lands. And uh, I think we, we have one more, and then we'll go to the build and we'll share some. Yeah. Uh, another fresh one that we're starting to work on are Rust Forest. So here you can see all the previous iterations. Yes, previous versions, as many as I could find from our um, from our old discussion. So this is the illustration, and these are the previous versions. And now we're starting to work on them again. So this is a concept that I've showed last time. We have the dis default distorted lands and we have our rusted forest here as well. So it's like just draft idea of just what a it draft should idea. look like. Yeah. Okay, and then yeah. we're going to a more detailed draft of how it could look like. Of, because again, as a reminder, we have to sort of uh, generate uh, a map from different Every sort of kind of uh, so it's pr assets. procedural, so we cannot yeah. uh, predict what kind of a shape the biome will look like. Yeah. So we're trying to assemble it from tiny pieces of uh, information, this uh, spiked islands, and then we assemble them in a, this huge land. Yeah. So for us, for us, we want to make it out of sort of island pieces that stick together or have holes in them, like in the illustration. There are a lot of giant cracks and to have spikes on them as well so and i think it's the only non-biological or can you say the biome it's yeah it's mostly mechanical. from metals and yeah. mechanics and there is only like dead animals there's <laughs> which is kind of cool and, and of course uh, we have some moss uh, and some because and, uh, why is it like this why it's so metal there is backstory because oh, yes. there was uh, all the distorted lands are produced by 
cataclysm triggered by a mage of uh, the past. old times of the yeah. past. And this uh, biome was created uh, by one of the greatest mag mages, and he was into metal. And he yeah. liked, <laughs> <laughs> he, he liked giant spikes. <laughs> He was kind of brutal, so he yeah. created this land as a protective area around his spire. So maybe somewhere inside you'll be able to find his old destroyed spire and some kind of loot. Maybe, mm -hmm. but who knows? Maybe. So uh, that's what left from his previous glory. Yep, and we'll keep working on it until it's Good. more. Um, that's now. it for a global map. And I think we can continue quickly through items to the build. So yes. let's just show uh, final versions of what we have and what you're working on. And we'll go okay. share some build updates. Just a quick see through. We're talking about, by the way, hot ice from the Black Pools. Black Pools also are located on uh, Distorted Lands. It's yeah. a byproduct of this cataclysm. Yeah. Last time we discussed Black Dew, sort of a super, super fancy uh, Rare ingredients liquid. that can be obtained only on the Black Pools and super hard yeah. to, to gather. So, Hot Ice. We have sketches. It's sort of a... Um, it's this land surrounding Black Pools. And at first people thought that maybe it's sort of a... Mm, iced version of the liquid but no it's a completely different rock it's a rock that emits energy and it has sort of a, a cool state where it doesn't emit energy and then suddenly bam it emits a lot of energy and it shines and almost like radioactive stone yep these are more iterations of the rock yeah so main idea was to show uh, the inner glow and yeah. uh, the emission of a uh, of this magic energy that the stone creates so this kind of mist is a magic effect. Yeah. Magic and energy. This is sipping true. The final, final version of it. Beautiful shiny rock. Super rare. Yep. And costs costs a fortune. A gazillion billion, yes. And we are talking about next up Bubble Her. Bubble Her belongs in distorted lands. So it should be distorted as well? Yes. Like it's a distorted plant. The funny thing about this, uh, Nikita was f finally realized why I was looking at bubbles <laughs> all week. <laughs> <laughs> just like bubbles. Bubble yeah, images. Yeah, yeah. They calm you down. Yeah, you can make bubbles out of like triangular ships with shapes and stuff, by the way. This is, this is legit. So yeah, I was thinking about, because uh, the concepts that game designer was thinking about were more like number one and two. Um, this plant blows these bubbles and the uh, there are seeds inside the bubbles and um this is how it pollinates mm -hmm. so yeah these so are which one we've selected uh actually i i think we've selected two yeah concepts and one will be used uh as a different plant because the design is cool and we don't want to miss it so uh we selected number three number three will be uh, bubble, bubble herb, herb. Uh, and we'll, we are iterating right now on it. And version number five will be used for a different plant. Only that, without that will be uh, somewhere on a more or less regular areas of a map, if I'm right. No, distorted oh, lands. It's also on distorted? Okay, okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. Okay, so let's go to some Just... iterations. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so you, here you have, with fictional plants, we start with a sort of a more detailed concept. And then we go to simplifying it for the inventory item. So here are some sketches of how the position of the plant should be. So we need to show the plant and also that it's blowing a bubble. So it's a bubble like plant. The main idea behind it. Yeah. That it produces bubbles filled with seeds. Yes. That's how it works. And here are some crazy colors. <laughs> crazy bubbly colors. We haven't decided yet what kind of colors yeah. we want, but we're exploring, and definitely we need to vote for number seven. <laughs> yes, yes. Can you zoom in, please? yes, yes. So number seven. Number seven is our favorite right now. <laughs> it's total chaos. It started yeah. just with a few dots, and then I couldn't stop. Okay. You know? So <laughs> maybe who knows? It can maybe be it's anything. changing its color like disco ball. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. 
When you see, you're mesmerized by some kind of random glow in the distance. No, no. When you turn around to see it, it turns yeah. gray. When yeah. you turn around, suddenly it's like glowing, and there's a disco party, and you're not invited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never heard anything before. Yeah. Okay. Basically. So. Yeah. 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 And anything. also, I, I, I like to mention if you have some opinions and a feedback, yeah. and you know what kind of color. This plant should, should be, be yes. If Maybe you're you shake, saw someone. Yeah, you're or... shaking right now. You're like, I know exactly what it should yes. look like. You can express your feedback yeah. on uh, our forum, mm -hmm. Discord, or in the comments on YouTube when we'll release this uh, live stream as a video. It should be published uh, later today. Yeah. So you can go and vote for your favorite bubble herb plant. Or just shout into the sky. Send us a bubble. <laughs> We'll With hear, your we'll opinion, we are hearing like prayers, you know. It's yeah, good. definitely. That's all so. for the inventory items. Perfect. Looks great. <laughs> <laughs> Honesty. <laughs> but <laughs> yes. Okay. But uh, oh yeah. Who that's knows? it for 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 for. Uh, yeah. Show me for what you did. And let's let's dive into the build. I, I feel like I'm the only one doing work around here. Let's look at the build. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> these days. Yeah. Okay, oh yeah. This, this is perfect. So we okay, have so a. It's a, a new campaign started from scratch, and mm -hmm. uh, we'll show you the logic and how diseases work. Right. So up here. So first of all, uh, Nikita, you can uh, say like basic idea behind all the system and how it works in what's, the simple words. What's and, your What's your favorite disease? And while you'll be doing it, I'll cheat some diseases on <laughs> our disciples. I'll cast some common cold on this. Yeah. I'm helping. I'm helping us to show the features. No, oh, you're <laughs> helping students as well. Cause like, because they will die. yeah, world of spider sorcerer is horrible. You go, you go for a walk, okay. and you get attacked by snakes. Yeah, okay. Basic... Our hey. illnesses, right? <laughs> uh, so... Okay, so first of all, uh, you, you, you'll you start seeing some uh, specific symptoms on the... For example, for example, for example, for example, there was some but... So there was a cold weather yeah, and... and cold weather. Or it was a rain, something like yeah. this. Okay, so what we can then, see here... And here is our first yeah. symptom, cough. That's right. Uh, all our characters now coughing. Everyone. You can see symptom on the icon and tooltip, cough is one. It's... And, the, uh, and so you, you don't... Mark, uh... That's right. It doesn't give you understanding. It gives you nothing. It it says, like, I don't know yeah. why I'm coughing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sometimes there was no fight. Yeah, you can connect some events with a result. Yeah. And in this case, they're coughing and you don't know why. Yeah. So basically, you need to find out. You go to Web and WebMD and you yeah, Google and, why? Yes. and then you get cancer as a result. Because <laughs> you're dying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In our case, first of all, uh, we need to diagnose the sick person to find out what's going on. And uh, for that, we have a hospital room. Mm. We can assign healers. From our list of characters, we have only one, more or less. Yes, <laughs> it's not good enough, but <laughs> we'll try. Right? Sheila. Sheila <laughs> knows some healing. Good job, Sheila. And we assign healers, but and yeah, it's fine. She'll survive, and, and uh... she'll be diagnosing patients. It's it it will be its uh, first step of healing. We need to find out from what we're trying to to heal yeah, the person. Right. Yes. Oh, but we need to build some rooms because we don't have anything. Okay. 
I'll build some rooms and you can continue. There is, but it won't be visible, right? Okay. Oh. Ooh, Here we yes. have uh, one bed for a patient to, <gasps> to lie on. Tiny patient icon. Oh. And one hour later, there is uh, someone visiting our doctor. Did they get their automatic? They just yes. Uh, yeah. We are not. We are not assigning patients because the logic is they are deciding themselves. Oh. Should I go to the doctor or not? Am I dying? Or it's just okay. scratch. So she's actually the, coughing, the responsible <laughs> one. Ing and Leoma are like, I don't care, you know. <laughs> they can visit doctor even without a specific room. We have rooms <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and th there, there, uh, he said she will be. Oh, we have new. Wait. Yes, someone just visited. Was he once. a patient? Yes, he was he healing himself. himself. Yes. <laughs> That's some Freudian stuff, right? Okay, there. so if you'll not not be treating disease for how long? <laughs> yeah, okay, because okay, it, so yeah. something went wrong and we've missed sound for Nikki then okay. I yeah. I hope it's not for long. Um, um so if you won't be treating diseases, what will happen? Uh the symptoms will um appear uh, new symptoms will appear that uh, according to the disease that they got. Sometimes uh, the disease can uh, just um, move forward and then uh, symptoms will end themselves. And nothing really bad will happen. Okay. So Sometimes if, if it's we, common so, cold, it's not a big yeah, deal. Yeah. But if it's cancer, then it's a big yeah. deal, right? Sometimes yeah, it so. will progress, and uh, we will get uh, uh, they will get new symptoms that will be so more it deadly. will get worse. Yeah, and uh, they will start to uh, it, it it will get viral with everyone in the room oh. in the spire, so it can be very dangerous. Okay. It's so especially if you don't know treat, what treat your what it is. disciples and everything will be fine. Good. So it's in the basic words how it works right now. Uh let's move on to the update for um, mage controls and the way we are aiming to give a control of a situation and what's going on in Aspire, especially with a mage right now. So how to assign mage and how to deal with his free time. Yeah. Uh, previous version was kind of it's one is the first one. Yes, kind of difficult to manage. We had all these slots of free time, and we could assign uh, specific work <laughs> to each slot, and Never it was com so. cumbersome and uh, required too too much time to work with. So we figured out we can uh, simplify it uh, to how many hours can mage spend on a specific task during a day. So, for example, we have task reading for a mage, and he's reading everything with uh, about alchemy. So we'll say you can spend no not more than two hours per day reading this kind of books, and maybe three hours reading about medicine. And he has a classroom to attend. He's teaching. He's teaching uh, self control. So let's say <laughs> also two hours. And he has some research tasks, maybe one hour each. And heal the sick, let's say at least two hours a day. And uh, total amount of hours he can spend equals to amount of uh, work hours defined on a, on a spire schedule. 
Pyro schedule will um, work for everyone for disciples and for a mage. So they're working by the same schedule. Yep. So it is more or less easier to work with than to split uh, between two different schedules. And um, if it will work, we will see how he spends his time during the day. Yep. As you can see, uh, this time indicators are filling during the day, showing how many hours he spent this day on a specific task. Yes. For example, he spent two hours on reading this one, and already we can see the progress on the different tasks. Yeah. He still decides on what is more interesting to the mage, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah. um, is he researching a math there? Sleeping back. Sleeping back. <laughs> yeah, something <laughs> unknown. Okay. <clears throat> but we are restricti restricting the time on different tasks. So uh, it uh, differs us uh, or differs the mage from the disciples. Uh, disciples can... It gives uh, more yeah. control because yes. more or less our disciples are in uh, non-direct control by a player and mage is the most controllable character in the game. Yeah. So we need to give more control uh, on what's going on. We but, don't but, need but, to but, but, Yeah, but still not to create some uh, boring routine for players. Yeah, so we are trying just... to avoid uh, assigning tasks each hour. Like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? So we are trying to make the system something in, in between. Planning ahead with some uh, specific hours to spend on things. Yes, so that's it, I think, for, for this feature. Um, what what we can share about... Um, we already seen that uh, some of uh, information is updated real-time, so there is no need to refresh page or anything like this. Conditions updating in real-time and uh, hours spent and even the progression on uh, skills also updating in real-time, so you can just push the play button and see how your character progressing through yeah. levels of a skill. Yeah, uh, attending some Yeah, if you don't classes. if you don't have anything to do in a game and you're just waiting for a final research to finish and you can just sit, relax and enjoy your progress bar. Um <laughs> and don't forget about the food. Yes, yeah, no. your own food. <laughs> don't starve kids. Uh what else? Uh, we also oh. implemented uh sleeping beds or like rooms assignment for disciples. Finally, they can uh... sleep outside the spire. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Otherwise, inside, they, they'll have the, their own uh, room to sleep, their own bed to sleep. If they're not assigned to any beds, they will sleep in the corridors or in, in a warehouse or whatever. <laughs> yeah, in, yeah. Well, in any random place in your spire, and that's not really a yeah. nice so, place. So, as some cool mage, you can decide on someone who is favorite from your disciples. And to exactly. yeah. and the bed. problem will be if you have more disciples than the sleeping beds. Uh, so you need to choose wisely who you will accept and inspire. If you're accepting everyone and you have only like three beds, you have a yeah, problem. Yeah, and it's not only beds, it's energy too and uh, there's rations. Oh, uh, there's one free bed though. Yep. Who it will be? Who it will be? <laughs> Can we give uh, another bed to... To the same Some, person, yeah. right? No. Just, just, <laughs> today no. I will sleep on this one. On both of them. Oh. My my it's head a... here, my legs here. Yeah. She's dying anyways. <laughs> no, no. So, Raver let, let is her gonna... enjoy your last days can, in the spire. Can, can they heal or not yet? Uh, they're recovering their he because, health. Uh, they are dying the because they are starving. So first of all. Yeah, let's, <laughs> oh. let's give them some food. So yeah, they will heal themselves if, uh, if they, they have... will... <laughs> Eat. If they have a reason yeah. to live. <laughs> okay. Because now food oh, is a reason to live. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah about uh, funny stories. Uh, previously, the depression could kill the disciple. So. But so this yeah. uh, you are starving and you are in depression, so yeah. you will die momentarily. Um, we are still researching ideas that depression can kill, but uh, this solution was kind of too obvious. And if you drop to below your normal condition up to depression, the health point would be uh, immediately subtracted, like minus one. 
Yeah. Same second yeah. you're depressed, yeah. you're minus one health, and you're if you're super low on health, you'll die. Like yeah. uh, I, I'm so depressed, I will die. Kind, kind of. <laughs> so we we've changed it for now. So, yeah. but later but yeah, I think we, we will balance this mechanics. Of course. Uh, so we have a dead person poisoned by snake venom. Yeah, Was he even? A, it's a good start. Yeah. He wasn't even out. So, oh, they're all. No. They, they were all out. Oh, okay. So they were on an adventure, <laughs> and one of them, Raven, Raver, Raver, yeah, he was. Uh, he died during his adventure. His last words. No, it, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they are not. But it's, it's not, not his, not his last words. Yeah. yeah. So we already, last... we already know that he's dead. Uh, so we've implemented this uh, dead disciple portrait, and he's now in on the list of dead. And we know he died long oh, he after. Us. He had incredible, incredible. meal. And he, was drowsy. <laughs> he had that much health. Nice. No, not, nice. Nothing. At least he had a good meal. Yeah, three, three meals. Three meals. <laughs> he was <What>? super hungry. <laughs> and then he got uh, bitten by a snake. What killed him? Yeah. So uh, let's go through some events that are happening during this adventure. So there was a. Some snakes. You we already showed you some snakes. Oh, and, some good um, weather. We implemented uh, events that are affecting the mood of a disciple. Yep. Uh, in a good way and in a bad way. So if he is going through some nice place with beautiful flowers, a nice weather, and everything is good, he's uh, uh... he's happy. Yeah, he'll he'll be happy. And the <laughs> opposite, if the weather is bad and everything is wrong, so. Yeah, the was so wrong. Now he got in depression and died. Oh, there were hornets. <laughs> the best yeah. thing. Okay. okay, and uh, new events that we've recently added. Uh, oh, not really oh, new, okay. but we've, we've modified this. Uh, this yeah. event about uh, Tourney Deadwood, and during this event, if you'll fail to go through it safely, you'll damage uh, equipment that you're yeah. wearing uh, at this moment. So he damaged some of his townsfolk clothes. And yes. in in time we will see that uh, the item is more damaging and yes. more until it's Let's destroyed. Go. Find. Think. We have found Latros oh, rubber, the nice. deposit. Oh. And he revealed a new knowledge of a tree bleeder. Yeah, and we so we can research yeah, tree, tree research. bleeders and find out what kind of resources we can gather from them. So we can start killing them. Oh. Uh, and you plant Belladonna, and there is so many things. Yeah, he, he was he was he was exploring. Okay, he was a nice and... explorer, and it's hard to see on the small screen, but uh, his uh, icon uh, shows more and more damage over time. So if he'll continue this way, he'll destroy uh, it. Think... But it was the last event actually. He, uh, he was attending. Friendly, why he died? Uh, maybe he died. After it, when his damage, uh, when he was starving or something like this. Ah, maybe he died. Um, we don't in have the spire. Could be, but uh, <laughs> we don't have a proper entry on the quest log about the death. We have, but if, we've never seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> it I don't it was it. <laughs> there. We can check uh, the log. Maybe he he died. Uh... Log. Okay, game log is a uh, is a. Uh, oh, only about our mage actually. He's just sleeping Why? and reading. Why? So, uh, game log will be uh, the main yes, uh, place yes, to something check something out to... what's going on and what was going on previously, a couple days before, by hour. So, you, you'll be able to see who was doing what and yep. maybe even why. And why? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's it. Maybe we want to show something else or we'll be wrapping up. Because it's super long stream today, and we're yeah, trying you, to show you, everything you, what, yes, we, what we have. Of course, we can uh, show you, uh, the radius of creatures um, on the map. The, yeah, well, let's yeah, so now... Go to the daytime. Yeah. Here. So here we can see a tree bleeder, and uh, there is a red radius around it. It shows... Uh, it's it, dangerous. Yeah. The it dangerous shows of you the where you can... Um, so it it shows that if uh, the party of disciples will go through there, yeah, we'll cross uh, there, there is a, a chance that they will meet this creature. 
So tree bleeder is yeah. growing and living somewhere around this area. So yeah. there is a chance to meet this creature if you'll pass through this radius. Yeah, so it's a good idea to get rid of him if uh, it uh, gives some problems to your quest. Same for a uh, uh, hollow no, black paw. Right now it's dangerous, but no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, for a black paw we're working on an event that if you'll be crossing his territory there is a chance that during the night, while your group is sleeping, these tiny creatures will try to rob you and steal really? some valuable or not so valuable items from your inventory. Yeah, and we are hoping to place these items in uh, the lair. So later, if you want to destroy the lair... And, if you uh, want to uh, yeah. loot... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. and you kill will... these precious tiny yeah, creatures. You, you will return you the heartless loot. beast. Then yes, you Maybe can... Just... Well, if there is some insect repellent, uh, like, like insect repellent from it's them. Not an yeah. insect. And here yeah. we can see radius oh, for uh, okay. forest cat. Right. Forest cat is uh, pretty dangerous, dangerous creatures. Oh, yes. So if you're contact, uh, like Look, encountering him, there is. It can travel through wor worlds, like at the edge of the unknown. <laughs> of reality. <laughs> of the oh, mind yes. blown. <laughs> okay, we have two more explorers. Um, Here. Uh, we forgot to say about the, the yeah the, we them. yeah we are thinking how to show the health problems that uh, disciples have on their adventures. Yeah. We are looking uh, how to solve uh, the way to show information of why the damage uh, why the health is going down. Yeah, and, why uh, disciples are dying. <laughs> yeah. So in this solution, uh, probably we'll scrap it and redo. But for now, yeah. we are showing. How much damage per hour disciple receives during his travel? So yeah, and there, are, there is nothing interesting and because there are a lot of uh, hidden conditions like starving or something else that gives damage. But and, here we yeah. can see there is a lot of events happening, and after each new event, the amount of damage per hour rises quite mm. a lot. So it shows you that uh, there is happening something that something affects his health. Uh, something with Food, I guess. For example, here, oh, but here, yeah. Poisoned it's by snake, and you can see obvious. the huge step up in uh, damage over time to his health. But uh, we're uh, discussing the idea to move forward for a visualization of conditions, not the health damage, because health damage is not so obvious, but uh, current conditions that affect your character are more important. So you know he is poisoned, he has broken leg, he has fever, he has common cold, and you know that he's suffering and, and losing his health. Yeah, and we so can you show... need to fix at least something of this. Yeah, and we can show different types that uh, this is um, um, these are conditions that uh, have influence on health uh, and uh, these are conditions that influence on his m mood and so on. They need to do something about those snakes. <laughs> Everyone yeah, I think we need, to, we need to add some defense from snakes. Like boots. Probably, yeah, boots. Boots. <laughs> boots. <laughs> snakes. Oh, oh what, a, what yeah. terrible boots. Ooh, <laughs> I won't bite you. Yes. You don't have taste at all. Good. So. Yep. I think we should wrap up because uh, we've shared so many information and like, yeah. Yeah. that's super long stream for us so if you have any questions we will be happy to answer like uh, last couple of minutes we are here and uh, while you're thinking about the questions i'll remind you about uh, our youtube and the uh, forum and discord where you can uh, talk with us and share your yeah, your opinions, opinions. and your ask feedback. questions that you forgot to ask yeah, today. Yeah, you can yeah. follow the process of development. You can uh, already read release notes that are, we are posting. We are we haven't released the game yet, but we are already releasing release notes. So <laughs> yeah. yes. at least you know what's going on and uh, sneak peeks of uh, development. Yes. So yeah, that's it. Um, thank you for watching. It was a pleasure. So next week the stream will be in Russian, and uh, uh, week after in English that? again. Yes. And so the Russian stream will have the uh, uh, game designer himself, Alexei Bokulov. So if yes. you understand Russian, join, and we'll be happy or to see you Or learn there. Russian and join. <laughs> it's time. Or just, it's or time. just watch pictures. <laughs>
Yeah. Learn Russian. Yes. <laughs> learn, learn Russian, comrade. And join us. Thank you, comrades. Yeah. Yes. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.